Now we know that how you can create this beautiful two column layout using your own grid system. Now in this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can create this beautiful article in your first column. So I'm going to show you how you can add this feature image Then I'm going to add this by admin and the date of this article. And then I'm going to add this title, the description and the categories this article belongs to. So I'm going to show you how you can create this beautiful article. Along with that, I'm going to add this hover effect on it. So when you hover on this article, I'm going to remove the box shadow from this article. So let's see how to do it. So I'm going to just open my editor. And as you can see here, we have here two column layout. In the first column right here, I'm going to just get rid of this H1 heading tag. And I'm going to just create here two column layout. So in the first column, I'm going to create two column layout. So I'm going to copy this command, paste it down here. So we'll clearly understand everything. And down here, I'm going to create grid class. And in this grid, I'm going to have my article. So I'm going to create a division tag with the class article. And in this article class, I'm going to have my article. So I'm going to simply put here article tag and specify blog post class to it. So in the HTML, we have the dedicated class for the article, which is article. So I'm going to just add article class here with the class blog post. In this article, I'm going to create a division tag and specify class to it, post thumbnail. And in this post thumbnail, I'm going to have my feature image. So I'm going to add here image tag and in the source attribute, I'm going to specify my asset folder, then select my images and then select my feature image. So I'm going to select my feature image and I'm going to select the first image here, this one. Then I'm going to specify here alt attribute, which is going to be post image. Just start that. To make this image responsive, I'm going to use class fluid, which is a global class. You know that we have this class in the global styling. So I'm going to use fluid class to make this image responsive. Save all the changes and open your website. Now, when you open your website, you're going to notice here, we have the feature image here. Now, what I want, I just want to remove these borders from these division tags. So I'm going to just open this grid.css file and right from here you can notice we just specify some border to all the division tag. Right here you can notice we just specify border to it. I'm going to just remove this styling, save all the changes. So I'm going to just remove all the borders. I'm going to just back to my index.html file and right here just after this post thumbnail, right down here I'm going to create another division tag and specify a class to it, post info. And in this div, I'm going to specify different information about my article. So I'm going to just create here a division tag with the class post author. And right here, I'm going to add anchor tag. And in this anchor tag, I'm going to add a span tag. And to this span, I'm going to specify my global classes. So I'm going to say class text SM and text gray. So this is the global classes. In the span tag, I'm going to specify by admin November 23, 2019. Save all the changes. Now just out of that, just out of this post author, I'm going to just add here post title. So I'm going to just simply add here a division tag with the class post title. And in this post title class, in the post title, I'm going to add anchor tag and I'm going to just add span tag inside this anchor tag. And I want to specify global classes to it, which is text LG and text dark. And in the spawn tag, I'm going to just specify title for this article. So I'm going to say trip that you will never ever forget. Save all the changes. When you save it, you can notice you have the title for this article. Just start that, just start this post title. I'm going to just specify description for this paragraph. So I'm going to just create here a division tag with the class post content. And inside this post content, I'm going to add a paragraph with the class para. So you know that we have this para class in the global styling. So if you just open global.css file, you can notice we have this para class here. And we just specify few styling to this para class. So I'm going to use that class right here. And in this paragraph, I'm going to just specify my demo text. So I'm going to just say here, lrm and specify 15 
demo words here. So I'm going to just press tab to add 15 demo words in this paragraph. Say all the changes and just start that. You will notice I have this paragraph here and then just start this post content right down here. I'm going to just add here horizontal row. So I'm going to simply add here HR tag. This will add horizontal row inside this article and just start this horizontal row. I'm going to just create here a division tag for the categories. So I'm going to simply add here a division tag with the class post categories. So I'm going to just say here post cat and inside this post categories, I'm going to just add anchor tag and inside this anchor tag, I'm going to add a span tag with the class text SM, which is a global class Then I'm going to add uppercase. This one is also the global class Then I'm going to add text gray class. Now these all are the global classes. You can find all these classes in the global.css file. So inside this pan tag, I'm going to specify category. So I'm going to say here people. Duplicate this anchor tag by pressing shift alt down key. This will just duplicate this anchor tag and I'm going to change this category to travel. When you save the changes and back to your website, you can notice you have your article here. I want to just add some styling to this article and make it more attractive. So let's see how to style it. Now let's see how to style this beautiful article section. So I'm going to simply open my style.css file and toggle this window on the right side to get the live result. And just out of that, right here, just out of these categories, I'm going to add a comment here and say post area section. And just out of this category, I'm going to first select my main tag. So I'm going to select my main area, then select post area and then select article so i'm going to select this article division tag this one and to this article i'm going to specify padding bottom padding bottom is going to be 2 rem and margin bottom is going to be 2 rem just out of that i want to specify width to it so i'm going to simply specify width and the width is going to be auto save the changes this will add some padding and margin to this article. So you can notice here, we just have some padding to the article at the bottom. Just out of that, I'm going to just select this blog post. So I'm going to just select my main area, then select article. And to this article, I have blog post class. So I'm going to select that blog post class and I'm going to specify box shadow to it. The box shadow is going to be a variable. So I'm going to specify my variable here, which is box shadow and i'm going to say here box shadow 3 just out of that i'm going to specify border 1 pixel solid and i'm going to specify the border color here so i'm going to call a var function and just say here border then just out of that i'm going to add transition on this box shadow so i'm going to say here transition on the box shadow so i'm going to say here box shadow and just add here 0.7 second is save the changes when you save it this will add some shadow to this article now if you just take a look at your layout you can notice this is just a one column layout now let me just make this two column layout so i'm going to simply select this main area so i'm going to select here main area then select post area and i'm going to select grid class let me show that class first this one i'm going to select this grid class and uh, I just want to specify here column count 2 because I want to create two columns here. I'm going to just specify here column count 2. When I save the changes, this will just bring this post content on the next column. To solve this problem, you just need to first select this article. And to this article, you need to specify display property inline block. When you specify this property, you can notice you have your article on the same column. Just out of that, what I want, when I hover on this article, I want to remove this box shadow. So I'm going to simply select this article. So I'm going to simply select this blog post. So I'm going to copy it, paste it down here. And on this blog post, when I hover on it, I want to remove box shadow. So I'm going to say box shadow, none. Save the changes. And when you hover on this article, you can notice this will just remove this box shadow. And using this transition, I'm going to have this beautiful smooth effect to this box shadow. Now, just out of that, I just wanted to add some padding to this block content. So I'm going to simply select my main area, 
then I'm going to select article and to this article I have blog post class and in this blog post I have blog info and I want to add padding to it so I'm going to say here padding to rem this will add some padding to this post info now I'm going to just select this title and space over some padding to it so I'm going to copy this post info class paste it down here and select my post title and to this post title I want to specify padding to the top and bottom so I'm going to say padding 1 rem to the top and bottom and 0 for the left and right save the changes this will add some padding to this post title then I'm going to select post info again and select my horizontal row and to this horizontal row I want to specify some margin so I'm going to say margin top is going to be 3 rem and background is going to be a variable so I'm going to say here gray when you save the changes this will add some margin to this horizontal row and add a gray color to it now what I want I want to change this title and make it more darker so I'm going to just simply change the font family of this title so I'm going to just back to my global.css file and as you know in the index.html you just specify text lg to this to this title so I'm going to just change this class so I'm going to open my global.css and you can notice here we have this text lg class and I'm going to just change this font family and I'm going to say here font mont so I'm going to just specify here font mont and I just want to change this width of this font and just say here bold this will just change this title of this article now just after that I'm going to just back to my style.css and I want to add some margin to this post area section so I'm going to simply add here margin so I'm going to select this post area so I'm going to copy this post area paste it up here and I want to add some margin to the left and right so I'm going to say here margin 0 to the top and bottom and 10% to the left and right save the changes this will add some margin to this left and to this right section now as you can see your article is now ready when you hover on this article you can notice we have this beautiful hover effect now let's see how to create other articles so I'm going to just open my index.html file and inside it you can notice I have this article division tag so I'm going to just copy this article division tag and paste it down here and just change this image so I'm going to just change this image to this one and I'm going to leave everything as it is and just change these categories so I'm going to say here design and this became photography save the changes when you save it you can notice I'm going to have my second article here just after that I'm going to just copy this division tag again paste it down here and just change this image and I'm going to just change this image and select my third image here this one and I'm going to just change these categories people and travel save the changes just start that so I'm going to copy this division tag paste it down here change this image so I'm going to specify fourth image here this one and now I want to change this title so I'm going to change this title and I want to just change these categories so I'm going to say commercial and I'm going to specify here design that's upon you which categories you want to specify to these articles save the changes when you save it you can see you have your fourth article here now just out of that I'm going to create the next article so I'm going to copy this article tag paste it down here and just change this image and I'm going to change it to image 5 then I'm going to change this post title and I'm going to just specify post title here and just change these categories so I'm going to say here people and travel save the changes when you save it I think I forgot to specify here yeah right here I think it's double quote here save the changes just start that I'm going to just copy this article again paste it down here and change this image and I'm going to select my 
sixth image here so I'm gonna select this image and I'm gonna just change this title and I want to just remove this second category and I want to just specify here a category tech save the changes when you save it you have your next article here just start that I'm going to just create my next article so I'm going to copy this division tag paste it down here change this post image and I'm going to just select my seventh image and change this title and I'm going to just change this title to something like this and I'm going to just change these categories so I'm going to simply say here photography and I want to add one more categories so I'm going to duplicate this line and specify here tech save the changes just start that I'm going to just minimize this article copy it paste it down here and just change this image and I'm going to change this image to image number 8 and I'm going to just change this title and I'm going to just specify here craftsman at work I want to remove these second categories and this is going to be people category so I'm going to say here people save the changes just start that so I'm going to copy this division tag paste it down here and change this image now I'm going to just change this image to image 9 and I'm going to just change this title and this category so I'm going to say here commercial save the changes then I'm going to just copy this division tag again and change this image I'm going to specify image number 10 and I want to change this text so I'm going to copy it cut it and specify my new text here and I just want to change this category and this is going to be nature and I want to add two more categories here so I'm going to duplicate this line and just specify my next category which is people and I'm going to just change this category as well and I'm going to just specify here travel save the changes just start that I'm going to just copy this article paste it down here and I'm going to just change this image and the title is going to be this one and I'm going to just get rid of this category the third category and I want to specify here people and commercial so I'm going to say here commercial save the changes and this is going to be the last category of this article so you can see here we have different categories in this post section now just after that let's just move to the sidebar and see how to create this beautiful sidebar where we have this latest post this beautiful search box and this popular tags so let's see how to do it so in the next lecture i will show you how to create this beautiful latest post section in the sidebar so i will see you in the next one